Good morning. How are you doing today? I'm doing amazing. How are you? I love that word amazing. Anybody who says that means <laughs> that that means they're living it. They they understand what amazing really means. <laughs> What is it like? I'm, I'm sure you're being asked that 10 million times, but but I, I'm, I'm going to step across that line and ask you, what is it really like as a Christian to know that you have reached beyond the four walls of church and you are affecting lives out here without having to use the big G word? You're using your energy to change people's lives. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you so much. I mean, it's it's been an absolutely amazing opportunity. You know, I'm I just I've had this passion for as long as I can remember and you know to actually you know be on this platform platform and to have people reaching out to me saying that I've inspired them or that I've touched them in some way has been absolutely incredible so yeah I'm I'm really really excited. Well, your entire background is an inspiration to so many people. It's it's almost like you are serving as an image where people can go that's that's who I am. She she's me. I I can be like her now. Oh, I love that. I mean, I I would hope that I could inspire someone, you know, I've, I've been working really, really hard for this my, my entire life. And I hope that other people who, you know, have been working just as hard throughout their entire lives too, can maybe, maybe look at my journey and see, you know, like, well, okay, well, she got nose too. And, um, you know, she's, she still tried and she still gave everything that she had to give and, and now she's there. So yeah, I hope that there are other people who are on similar paths and, and, take it as a sign to maybe keep giving it a shot too. I want you to know that when, when Niall stole you, I, I really got excited because I want to see Niall because he's lived this life before. He knows what it's like to be in a competition. He knows where you are on that stage. Yeah, totally. I mean, he, that, that's something that he's talked a lot about with us is that he, he knows what it's like to be in, in that setting, you know, with, facing off against friends or performing alongside friends, being a part of a group or um, and being a young artist as well and being put on that sort of platform. So um, he's definitely had a lot of incredible advice to give and it's been amazing working with him. It's got to be an incredible experience to be able to have so much talent around you. And, you know, I got to be honest with you, I have never seen an ego on The Voice on NBC. Never. It's always a place of giving and sharing. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's been hands down my favorite part of this experience. Honestly, it's just, I, I love being a part of a community where I can feel inspired and there are other artists who, you know, take this as seriously as I do and want to create and want to sing with you. It's just been really encouraging for me. I mean, obviously on the show, you, you, you see how you learn from the coaches, but what you don't see is all all of the rehearsals that the artists do with each other, how we give each other advice and how um, we sing for each other, we write for each other and with each other. So um, it, it's been amazing to learn not only from the professionals on the show, but also from um, my fellow artists. It's meant a lot to me. The, being from the state of Florida, I'm always amazed by by the talent that comes from Florida because I'm reminded of how Tom Petty ran away from Florida to go to California because of this group called the Beatles. Everybody had to figure out a new sight and sound. And so when I see artists from Florida, I'm going, oh, you're, ju- you're just going to go out there and change the entire nation because you're going to grow from state to state to state. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. I'd be cool to be the next Tom Petty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because you're surrounded by so much culture in Florida. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. There's a lot of, it's a big melting pot, I think, in Florida. Um, Very proud to be born and raised here for sure. Um, I feel like if you drive 10 minutes one way and 10 minutes the other, you get an entirely different experience. So um, it's it's a really cool place to be for sure. When when in your life did you realize that you had that gift to sing? Because I, I still remember as a child sitting in the front seat of our car traveling in, in Montana and, and my parents would invite me to sing and I would say, I'm going to be a professional singer one day. And well, it didn't happen. But the thing is, is that, but somewhere in your life, you had to have known, I am going to sing. Well, you know, it's it's funny because I, I didn't really know. I mean, I knew that it was something that I was passionate about and something that I enjoyed ever since I was a little kid. I think my first performance is, I think I was maybe four years old, four or five at, um, I think, a church. I would sing on in the kids talent show and then I I think I sang at a friend's wedding or like a family friend's wedding. But um, my, my parents always encouraged me and they I think they knew like, okay, she, she can hold a, hold a tune. So keep going, keep trying. And, um, I think my, my whole family's encouragement has really helped 
push me to, to keep working hard and keep practicing. But, you know, I never thought that it would be a reality for me. That's, that's a big reason why I, I didn't pursue it full time straight out of high school. You know, I went, I went to the university of Florida and I got my bachelor's degree in public relations and I was working at an agency for a while. Um, and I never really thought that I would have time or resources to fully dedicate to a music career. And so that's why this, this opportunity in particular has meant so much for me because I, I didn't know that that it would be something that was attainable for me. So, um, it's really, really changed my whole perspective on the entire thing. Absolutely. And I feel very, very lucky, um, to have had this chance. And your heart is so full in the way that, I mean, I I love the idea that you embrace jazz. I was with Robert Cool Bell a couple of weeks ago and Cool and the Gang started as a jazz band. Look at Lizzo today with that jazz background. You are such a major chunk of the future moving forward. Oh, that makes me so happy to hear that. I think I think that there's been this stigma about jazz for the longest time about how it's how it's boring or it's elevator music or how it's too complicated and not necessarily approachable for, you know, the mass audiences. But I don't think people understand or I think people are gradually beginning to understand more how much it influences so much of what we hear on the radio today and and on you know, the top 10 billboard and everything. So I'm just really happy to hear that. And um, I hope that it continues to, to only grow more and more and more and people get more passionate about it. So what is your genre when you step free? Are you going to go the route of jazz? I mean, because we could use another Anita Baker. I mean, we need some Anita Baker. <laughs> I mean, what, what, where, where will you, or where would you like to grow? Or are you going to become strong in worship? Because worship music today is well beyond the four walls of church. It, I mean, I, I, I'm at Elevation Church. I know what my, our, our band is doing yeah absolutely i mean i i think at my roots i'm a singer songwriter artist for sure i think i like to um i like to think along the lines of i'm not sure if you're familiar with lizzie mcalpine yeah. um sarah Wallace was a big inspiration of mine growing up um i think really lyrically driven um acoustic music with a lot of space is mm. something that i really gravitate towards but i also you know i i I did study music in, in middle school and continued to do collegiate acapella in high school. So I think pulling from more technical, like theory-based music is something that I would really like to integrate in my own music as well. So um, I think I've sort of fallen into my own sound over the past couple of years, but I don't have any original music out as of right now, but I'm working on it and I'm really excited for everyone to see what's to come. Every creative person has that moment where we step back and you experienced it as well. What did you hear in your heart when it said, now, now, get back in it now? Yeah, I mean, oh, just, I guess this big rush. (laughs) I feel like I've been living in in a dream for the past couple of months you know i never really thought that this would be my real life and the fact that it is right now is just it's still so crazy to me it doesn't feel real um i'm i think more than anything i'm just i'm so 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 appreciative and grateful for the opportunity because you know it's something that i've you know you can you can work really really hard and um and try your best but it, it does take that that door opening for you to get up there so um yeah, having that finally happen for me has just been so, so incredibly amazing. And isn't isn't it amazing when you step out on that stage, you know darn good and well that God is right there inside your heart and you know that you're being used as a tool? Yeah, I mean, it's it's a beautiful feeling, absolutely. Yeah, and are you are you writing, are you journaling, you do anything like that? Because this, the, these are the things that you be, that become teaching tools for you in the future. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've been trying to document as much as I can. I've been you know, writing things down, but, um, I'm also trying to make as many little videos as I can. Oh, yeah. I've done videos on my YouTube channel, talking about my experiences. I was actually in, um, Sacramento, California with my battle partner this past week where we did some videos together. And I think just having documenting things yeah. in as many different forms as I can, having something to look back on throughout my life is um, really important to me. So yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> wow. You got to come back to this show anytime in the future. The door is always going to be open for you. Thank you so much. Will you be brilliant today, okay? Yes, you as well. (laughs) Thank you.